Tonight on Sending the Dogs Australia. Two bandits are breaking into a Brisbane office. And it's up to Police Dog Sarge to find them. Police with a police dog! At a Melbourne music festival, police are mounting a massive drug detection operation. This is a narcotic dog, indicates narcotic odour on people. And some fans aren't pleased to see them. Excuse me, mate. Excuse me. Excuse me, mate. There you go. And the newest candidate for the Queensland Dog Squad has just been born. But has he got what it takes to become a highly disciplined police dog? When most of Brisbane is preparing to sleep, Senior Constable Jeff Brandt and Police Dog Sarge are just about to start work. PD Sarge is a seven-year-old sable German Shepherd. Sarge has been described by uh, some of our instructors here as a, as, a, as a V8 kind of dog as opposed to a V6. He's got a very high drive, so he, he barks a lot and he, and he tends to carry on in the back of the truck. He certainly does like his job. That's your mate. Shortly after 11 p.m., they're sent out in response to a triple O emergency call. A woman has just reported a suspected prowler. So he's been at the oh, front. God, he's strong, so can you hurry up? Hang on for a moment. So he's been at the address for a couple of hours. Yeah. So what's oh, all... He smashed the window. So we were upgraded to a priority travel code two, which is lights and signs. It was my understanding that there were a family, young kids in the house, and there was obviously concerns held for the safety of the people inside the house. On arrival at any incident, we always go and speak to the informant, who was the lady who was inside the house at the time. How are you? What's he? Has he, has he broken anything? Or? She basically told me that a person who she knew had tried to break into the house and, and assault them and had broken a number of windows. That that person had been in the area for about an hour, coming and going from the house and making threats. Yeah, she said he's, he's tried to break in, so I'll go in the backyard first, so I'll just get the dog out. Sarge is eager to get to work. The man was last seen around here 15 minutes ago. So they've got a good chance of finding a fresh scent. It's a hot day in Melbourne. And thousands of fans are starting to arrive at a music festival. It's an all-day event. And unfortunately, where there's a party, there's often drugs. So the dog squad, along with other police, arrive early and in force. It's probably one of our busiest days of the year. There's a lot of people carrying ecstasy and uh, GBH and that sort of drugs. It's a big operation with so many thousands of people to screen. And crucial to its success is a team of four drug detection dogs. Let's go. Leading senior constable Andy Adams is here with his Labrador, Frisco. Oh, Frisco is a, a young dog. He's very enthusiastic. And, uh, and that's what I like about him, the fact that he is enthusiastic. He's very keen to work and he's keen to please you. So that's a good sign in a young dog. Be quick. Come on, be quick. And this is police dog Danny, along with his handler, leading senior constable oh, no. Harry Bonniewell. He's always had that collar. These specialised drug dogs are trained to detect the presence of minute quantities of drugs, from marijuana to amphetamines and opiates. Fitch. Sweet Fitch. So what we're doing now is the dog's screening the free air space around a person. So he doesn't actually smell, search the person, he actually smells the free air space around them. Fitch, come on. Nothing there, but it's only a matter of minutes before Frisco smells trouble. There you go, mate. Excuse me, mate. There you go, this is a narcotic dog, indicates narcotic odour on people. Back in Brisbane, it's been 15 minutes since a man was reported menacing this household. Has he broken anything or...? Police dog Sarge and senior constable Jeff Brandt are on his trail. At that stage, uh, they thought that he might still be in the backyard. Good boy. Sarge is trained when we're tracking to locate the, the freshest human scent. The only person who'd been in the backyard was the offender. Up. The track went to the back fence, which was a six-foot timber fence, luckily for me in which we had to then jump over the back fence and track off through a, a number of yards and over a number of fences. What's 
It soon becomes clear the man has been going around in circles, crossing and recrossing his own tracks. Have a look, mate. Good boy. Good man, mate. Up there, good boy. Come on, mate. Sarge finds his way through the backyard maze. Good boy, mate. And the hunt is back on. Oh, there we go. Good boy, John. A few blocks later, the track ends abruptly at a bus shelter. We've had pretty solid track all the way down to here, but um, a bus has just turned up and 20 or so people have actually gotten off the bus, which is unusual for a, um, an area like this, but um, and they've walked all over the place, so it's kind of ruined our tracking any further. We'll just clear some yards and then we'll, we'll head back to the car if we can't find him. Hold on a minute. Oi! Police are mounting a massive drug operation at this Melbourne Music Festival. As 25,000 people head towards the gates, leading senior constable Andy Adams and his drug dog Frisco have cornered their first suspect. There you go, mate. Excuse me, mate. There you go, this is a narcotic dog in the case of narcotic odour on people. Okay. This police member's going to deal with you now, OK? Go okay, over there. Police officers take the man away for further searching and questioning, while Frisco gets very busy as the crowd continues to build. Here, pitch, 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 the dog, come on, pitch, pitch, come, pitch, come, pitch, good boy, good boy, how you going, mate? It's a narcotic dog in the case of narcotic odour on people. He's got a gram of coke, a gram of speed, and some pills. That's two suspects found within the first 10 minutes. And Frisco's success rate is about to soar. Excuse me, mate. Excuse me, mate. Excuse me, mate. Excuse me, mate. There you go. It takes more than a year and a half for a puppy to become a fully-fledged police dog. Across Australia, hundreds are specially bred for that purpose. And in Queensland, the newest candidate for the dog squad has just been born. When they're born, they normally weigh between four and 500 grams. So he came in at 860 grams, which is a very big puppy. This German Shepherd pup has got good genes. His father, Bosch, is an excellent police dog, and his mother, Uma, has a long pedigree. Each time we have a litter, it starts with the letter of the alphabet, so we're down to Q. Um, so we're lucky that Uma only had one puppy because we don't have to think of too many names starting with Q. There's many factors that will determine whether this guy will make it as a, a police dog. The top characteristics that we would look for are a good temperament, very calm, very bold, confident dog with the ability to be suspicious of people, um, show a little bit of aggression when it's needed. He hopefully will take after his father and be be a police dog as well. Every year, 12 puppies are selected for training to become police dogs in Queensland. But Puppy Q will only make it if he's got the right stuff. As Puppy Q takes his first nervous steps, veteran police dog Sarge is tracking a man who was reported menacing a household. Good boy. The trail leads to a bus shelter, but no one knows if the man caught the bus and Senior Constable Jeff Brandt suspects he could still be around. Hold on a minute. Oi! Get on the ground now, I'll send the dog! Put your hands behind your back! At the last moment, the man panicked and broke cover. Distracted by police dog Sarge, he walked straight into a police cordon. Well, quite often the person can be taken into custody by them while we're tracking because it, we flush them out. So we, we'll either catch the person with the dog or we'll flush them out. And in either way, the result's the same. The, a good result, the person's taken into custody. That's the fella, eh? All right, sweet ass. No worries. Have a good night. They know that that person's no longer in the vicinity and can't harm them anymore. Good boy. But Sarge doesn't have long to rest. They're called to another job. 7-5-0 received that as well, thanks. 
Um, we've got a breakers on premises at a business in uh, Lytton. A live security camera is showing two men breaking into an office. Apparently a security guard who's either on scene and watching the offenders inside or has um, got them on closed circuit television. If Jeff and Sarge get there quick enough, they may still be inside. <laughs>